Hey, how's it going, Dunity? My name's Hyaline J. Welcome back to the win. Now, I don't know how many more parts it's going to be to this, maybe one or two. But we're going to jump right back in. And this is going to take place right after we start uh, finishing talking to Dad. I sigh softly. Big noises escape my lips. I hardly sound intelligent. But at least I'm sensing it. I know I still exist. It's in the middle of the night and the lights are dim. And the sky is filled with stars. But I still exist. I don't need to find proof of my own work from strangers on the internet like Susie does. I don't extort older men for clothes and shoes and accessories online while pretending to be somebody or not. There is nothing wrong with having a sugar daddy, okay? You need to open up your boundaries, free your mind, and be more thoughtful, okay? Because that's just, that's just rude. You know, some people like doing YouTube for um, their living, so uh, could you not be so... Um, Hateful about it? God. I don't want to. Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't think any man, no matter how desperate, would want to go out with me either. I've never been good at playing pretend, like, not like Susie. When we were little kids, Susie was always the one who created the complicated backstories of our dolls. Or divvied up the roles when we played or being happy families. I never had much of a model to go on. N uh, I gasped. I tipped my head back. My hair is wedged beneath my head and it hurts a little. It tugs in my scalp whenever I shift, but I try to ignore it. If nobody else wants me, no man or woman, they can at least want myself. Since I share a bedroom with Jazz, I don't often get a chance to do this. I might as well make the most of it. Jess is still out. I don't know what she's doing or where she is. Probably with Vaughn. Dad was livid when he discovered Jess still wasn't back home by 11 o'clock. Dad tried to keep his voice down, but I could hear him murmuring angrily to Mom in their room. That girl has no sense of respect. I'll wring her neck out when she gets back. The walls in this house are thin. I can hear everything from my bedroom. I can hear the wind rattling my window pane. I can hear the faulty taps in the bathroom. I can hear the humming of the fridge downstairs. Sometimes I can hear the springs of mom and dad's beds creaking. Oh, wow, oh, oh, didn't expect that. I wish I couldn't. Yeah, I bet you wouldn't want that to uh, be able to be audible when you're in bed just trying to relax. When we were younger, Jess and I used to giggle about it. Jess giggled about it, rather, and then wants to tell me that, oh, tell me about where babies come from and exactly what mom and dad were doing in the excruciating detail. Who does that? I told Jess she was gross. She laughed and told me I was being a baby. Jess was nine then. I was six. So, like, these two knew about that when they were, like, six or nine. God. Took them too long. I knew when I was five. <laughs> I haven't heard, heard the springs of mom and dad's bed creaking for a while. More often than not, I just hear low, angry murmuring. Arguing. Sometimes it's quiet. Sometimes it isn't so quiet. The house is almost quiet now. It's deceptive silence that continues something deeper. The wind outside. The slow, steady dripping of the bathroom taps. The sad, sniffling sounds of my mother makes me, she, makes me when she's sleeping. My own soft sighs. I wonder what she think about. I really, I don't really know. Anything but mom and dad. Susie told me a little about this before. She's had boyfriends and now she's with Aki. And I've had 
sex ed classes, but I'm not really good at this. It's not good at making myself feel good. Wait a minute. I look up online, but there's only one shared computer in the house, and I'm too worried somebody will find out what I've been searching for. I don't know what to do, so... I grope and poke ineffectively and hope for the best. Hold on. Hold on. What the fuck am I reading? Yo. How, how did I just now catch on to what was going on? Hmm. Oh my god, what am I fucking reading? I thought this was supposed to be a horror game. The only horror is going on is my... <laughs> is my ability to read this. I don't really understand my body. It's strange like an alien. Whenever I shower to take a bath, I try not to look at it too much. My body makes me feel depressed. I thought the teenagers were ears were meant to be the best of your life. Why then do I look so ugly? I don't just look ugly, I feel ugly. Doing this, that's ugly. I don't deserve to feel good. Maybe this- oh my god, how am I reading this right now? Maybe that's why I don't feel good. Doing this. It's ugly. Oh, I just heard that. There's too much guilt attached. The awkwardness too, because my parents might wake up any second. Maybe if I whimper beneath my breath, like, like they do, like they're doing the sec. I can't read this. I can't read this. And all the other movies I've even seen, it'll feel good. But the scenes in the movies are all staged. Even if they weren't, they usually involved at least two people, and there's only one of me. There only ever be one of me. I'll be I'll always be alone. No attractive man will try to proportion me online. Oh, uh, they'll never buy me expensive gifts in exchange for long drawn out, loveless cyber. Ah! No boys will ever try to get me drunk at parties ah! in Vaughn's bedroom. Then leave without giving a name on their phone number. No guy will want to hold me, hold my hand, or kiss my lips, or say that he loves me because, according to Susie, romance is dead, and I shouldn't hope for too much in this day of age. Why else do you think so many guys watch me when I'm in a live stream? It's because they're lonely. Maybe everybody's lonely. Wow, if only if it was that easy. But it's not. Isn't that why I'm doing this? I don't know. It doesn't make me feel better. I'm not I'm gonna just I'm just not gonna read these. I sound unconvincing. I soft guests and hollow and empty devoid of emotion. I must look so stupid. I feel stupid. Am I supposed to be and I'm supposed to be the smart one. If I was more like her, why am I thinking about that? I tense my finger spasm my finger spasm. My back Oh god. Oh man. My back arches, but not because I've managed to achieve ah! or anything like that. I don't know what this feels like. What the hell? What in the actual hell? Susie says it feels good. I'll take a word for it. Susie, ah! at the start of the school term. God, I'm trying so hard to finish this episode. So hard. She's only 15. I don't know how much of this I could take. That's young. Not just young. It's illegal. It's especially shocking considering Susie is supposed to be the good girl who comes from a nice and normal family. Her dad watches birds and her mother translates manuals for assembling TVs and kitchen cutboards. I don't think they ever argue. I don't seem to like the argument sort. But Susie still lost her when she was 15. So maybe that's a normal thing to, that girls do. I think Jas was around that age too. But I haven't. I never held a boy's hand, let alone kissed one. Let alone anything else. Maybe I shouldn't 
try to talk about guys. It's not really working. It makes me feel even more aware of just how alone I am. A girl, then? Should I think about a girl? Susie? No, not Susie. She has Aki. Then... <sighs> what about the other me? The Lin with an extra E, whose name would be worth more points than mine on a Scrabble board. Was she, does she know how to do this properly? I doubt it. She's so prim and proper, she never talks to anyone in class. When we learned about in class, she faced forward and looked attentive enough, but in this kind of distant way. Like it had nothing to do with her. Like, she has never, ever going to have with an any boy. Not like I can judge. I bet I'll never, ever have with a boy, either. There are going to be a lot of duck sounds in this. I'm going to die. Sad and alone. I hope Lynn does, too. That's, that's rude. It wouldn't be fair if she has a better love life than me. She's already prettier than me, smarter, and her family's richer than mine. Why does she have to have to take everything I want? It's not fair. Maybe it's because she comes from a better household than I do. Lynn's shoes are never scuffed. And the plates of her skirt are always crisp and neatly ironed. Could I look pretty like her if I tried? I don't know. Thinking about it, Lynn doesn't have quite a nice body. I wonder what it would feel like if she... But if I had... If, if, like, my face cam were set up right now. Because, like, I'm... I have face cam. I can do it. But my camera only goes up to 18 minutes for some odd reason. Oh, would, would I be red? If she kissed me. I'm not reading that. What would that feel like? Uh... Yeah, I'm actually too embarrassed to read this. So, you know what? It's there. You guys can read that. I never tried thinking about a girl like this before. Least of all, Lynn. It's... But I can't be loud. The walls are too thin and I don't want my parents to hear me. But it's strange to... And I'm getting kind of... And... Oh, what the fuck did I get myself into? The stress went down? That's a first. Minus five stress. Oh, Here we go. Lynn, what on earth are you doing? few moments I forget about being quiet. The thought goes out of my my head altogether. It's hard to be quiet when your big sister is standing in the doorway of your shared bedroom, looking at you with evident immersement, with one hand resting against her large pregnant belly. It's Jess. Pull my hand away from between my... Like I've been burnt. I think I'm really am yeah, burning. My face is all red and raw. It's a good thing I still have the covers pulled over me, but it should have been obvious what I was doing. You could have not. Sorry, sorry, I didn't know what you were doing that while I was gone. You always seem like such a good girl. Jess Nickershoe looks wickedly amused, like she's seen something hilarious. Like I'm hilarious. I'm just glad this conversation about all of that is over. Who would ever take me seriously anyway? Oh god. My face burns. I pulled my divot... I pulled my divot about my me tightly. I wrap it around my body like a shield. I wish I could kid myself its invisibility cloak, but Jazz's eyes are still boring onto me. Urgh. I can hear Dad shifting around in his sleep in my parents' room. The springs of the old and old mat the springs of the old old mattress 
that need replacing ten years ago creak. I hold my breath, waiting, but after that, he falls silent. A soft sound of snoring permits the house once more. The tap of the bathroom continues to drip. At least she didn't wake him up. Tash shuts the bedroom door behind her with a soft thud. Is he mad at me? Livid. Thought so. Why were you out so late anyway? I was at Vaughn's. We were watching Saw. Why Saw? Because it's awesome. At yeah, damn right it's awesome. I don't think Saw is something pregnant women should be watching. <laughs> Why did I find that funny? They should be... They should put on warning on it. Like, no alcohol or cigarettes. The baby might be born all messed up. What the hell? <laughs> okay, okay. Her train of thought is the fact that if you're pregnant and you're watching horror movies, that the baby's gonna get messed up. Oh, that's amazing. Is that how serial killers are made? <laughs> what? I just meant to watch the first one, I swear, but then Vaughn ran out the second and the third, and... Well, I kind of wanted the marathon them. Don't, didn't you, don't you worry about what Dad would say? A bit, but I didn't want to talk a thing about Dad. I'm an adult. I should be allowed to do whatever I want. And you want to watch Saul? <laughs> yeah. It's not even Halloween. But I got the fright of my life when I came back. Let me tell you. You're horrible. Ah. Uh, uh, I love this. I'm just teasing. Don't take it to heart. You're a healthy young girl. It's perfectly normal. You'd want to enjoy yourself a little. Shut up. Don't look so huffy. I'm a girl too. I know what it is. But be quiet. Jess marks. Though you do not sound a bit like a dying cow. <laughs> Jasmine. What's her name is Jasmine. I wanted to shout at her, but I can't risk waking Dad. Dad gets angry enough as it is without being roused in the middle of his night. And I hate to think that he would say to Jas once he sees she's back. All I can do is whisper angrily instead. I'm mad. Jas has taken away even my right to be angry. But I've never been very good at expressing myself. What? I'm just saying. You don't have to say. Well, sorry for trying to get to give you some advice. Would you rather it come from me than a future boyfriend? I'm never going to have a boyfriend. Well, your legs are getting kind of hairy. Oh, get wrecked. Don't talk about my body like that. Hey, don't sweat it. I'm not exactly rocking a bikini body here either. Jess pats her stomach. I pout and return to Jess's laughter. She ruffles my hair. Don't worry, Lynn. This is just between you and me. I won't tell anyone. Really? Yeah. Although... What? Jess prods me in the cheek. You're pulling some weird fucking faces. It looked like you've been possessed. It was actually pretty scary. My face burns bright with shame. Ah, oh, fucking A. Oh. Okay, so we're now, now we're here inside of a dream. Everything's made of concrete. The walls, the floor, the ceiling. It's all dull and drab and gray. Mold sprouts in the corner and the edge of the room. It's black, it's dark black in the center but pales around the edges in a soft, almost pastel blue. I would... the mold would be almost pretty, I guess, if the rest of this place, whatever this place is, wasn't so horribly cold and dank and dark. I shift uncontrollably. My... behind hurts. The cold leaks through the back of my trousers, my thighs are turning into ice. Why am I sitting down in a place like this? Whenever for the world I am. I try to get my feet, but... Mm. A sharp wave of pain spikes through my right leg. It's almost as if something 
was jammed inside me. What happened? I looked down, blinking, and half afraid at what I might find, and a soft, pained moan escapes from my lips. My right leg is bent in an awkward angle and snapped just beneath my knee, like a tree branch in a thunderstorm. It sticks out sickly, uncanny, and unnatural to the right. Much, much too far to the right. It's my bone piercing through my skin. It feels like it. It hurts. I didn't realize just how much it hurt, but that's because I didn't realize it was broken so badly. Not until I saw it with my own eyes. That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't it hurt before? Even I couldn't see it, I should have been able to feel it. Maybe it was the shock of being in such a strange environment. Maybe it was wasn't broken before I examined it. I wonder idly if some invisible force or ghost or ghoul or phantom took my leg between its spectral hands and split it in milliseconds. It took for me a glance down. I don't know. I don't know anything. I bought my lower lip. My face is drowning in color. I probably look like a mushroom. That's... What? How did that happen? How is any of this happening? I turn to the right, to the left. I'm in a square-shaped room. There are exits all around me, but with my broken leg, there's no way I can escape. I can see the recess further back, behind the door. There should be a stairwell there, but there isn't... There's something. A place where the stairs should be completely empty. It's just a vast, yawning crevice. There's no stairs. Why are there no stairs? If I tried to shim my way down, even without a broken leg, I think I'd end up all broken in all sorts of other places upon landing. Ah, uh, I see you're awake. Uh oh? There's a voice, it's slow and distinctly female. A voice echoes around the far, four walls, and then drab, gray, mole, and ready room all over and over again. You're awake. 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 E. <laughs> it sounds like an castation. Shiver runs down my spine. The air in the in here is colder than nitro liquid nitrogen. It took quite a while for you to come, poor baby. A woman's voice sounds concerned, but something about it sets my teeth on edge. I don't trust it. I don't trust her. Wherever she is. I can't see her. I search her source in a mysterious voice and... Uh oh. What? Hey, Vaughn. The speaker's standing in front of me. She's kneeling just inches away, so her breath glides across my cheeks. At least it wouldn't be fine if she wasn't wearing a mask. Where did she come from? I swear she wasn't here before. There's no body, just a voice, but voices can't exist in their own. There isn't possible. Am I going crazy? Uh, uh, ow. A sharp pain spikes through my leg. My brain was so overwhelmed by this bizarre situation, I forgot for a few seconds it was supposed to hurt. It hurts more than it did before. Human legs aren't supposed to bend like this. Not at 90 degree angles. How long have I been here? Does that really matter, sweetie? You're here now, and you're not going to leave. It's interesting how Vaughn is wearing a mask, but it's clearly Vaughn, but it's still question marks. I don't know. No. Sorry. Right. You might as well make yourself comfortable. You have no other choice. I can tell des uh, despite the mask, the woman's pretty. Her eyes are striking, her eyebrows are curved into neat arches. Her eyebrows are pierced, her nose are pierced too, and her ears. The lights are, are here are dim. Everything's dull and grab except for her. She's a rare, shiny object in a universe comprised of bland, repeating grays. She looks familiar. In fact, I think I recognize her. Are you? Vaughn? My name doesn't matter. Her voice is a little muffled through the surgical mask, but I'm sure it's Vaughn. It looks like her, at least. It took you that long to catch on? What is she doing here? Uh, I, um, I think I, my leg's broken. It would be, sweetie. Why? Why indeed? That is the question. 
and her eyes hearted. You shouldn't need to ask me that. The reason should be obvious. What do you mean? We thought if you were subject to, to a sudden sharp shock, you might remember what it is you've done wrong. But I guess not. You really are hard-headed. Or maybe you're incapable of feeling real remorse. I I'm sorry. I try to keep my voice calm, even though sweat's starting to bead on my forehead. My leg doesn't just ache, it doesn't just hurt. It sears. I'm sorry if I did anything wrong, I swear, I didn't mean to. It's those pretty words, yes, but I can't trust them. Why not? How can I accept an apology when you don't even understand why you're apologizing in the first place? That's just my opinion. What does every, everybody else think? The girl looks like Vaughn, but may or may not be Vaughn, turns her head. She's gesturing towards the audience? That can't be. There's only one, we're the only ones here, aren't we? That's what I thought, but we're not alone. We're not alone at all. The edges of the room are crammed with people. They're surrounding me in a circle. There's so many people I can't even see the walls anymore. It's like they've eaten the landscape around me. Termites. There's so many people calling a, a mere crowd. It doesn't begin to cover it. It doesn't give any sense of scale. Most of the people in the crowd are strangers. They're so strange to me, alien in fact, that I can't tell if there's, they have any eyes or ears or noses. There are a few faces, however, that I recognize. Jess, Susie, Mom and Dad. Why are they all standing there watching? I try to call out for them, but I can't. The words sank, snag in my throat. It feels like my vocal cords have been cut clean in two by a spectral pair of scissors, perhaps. I can't make so much as a squeak. My leg hurts. It hurts so, so badly I can hardly think. I can hardly even feel. Everything is obliterated by pain. Pain fills my skull like a thick cloud of smog. A cloud of files, flies. Oh dear. It seems like you really have let everybody down here, dear. Her fingers carelessly ca caress my cheek gently. Her nails are long and sharp, enough to cause serious damage. She could gouge my eyes out on these nails so, so easily and she wouldn't even break a sweat. I'm completely at her mercy. Nobody will defend me. Nobody wants to. They stand and watch the circle, staring. They're all empty and soulless. Scarecrow people. Do they have emotions in their heart? Any care? Any compassions? Maybe I don't deserve it. Now do you know what people do with witches? I'm a witch? I thought Vaughn was a witch. I self-proclaim Wiccan. I don't know if there's this is woman is Vaughn. I just like I don't know whether the Jazz or Susie or Mom and, or Dad in the crowd are really Jazz or Susie or Mom and or Dad. Just like I don't know if I'm the real Lynn. This is my real body. My smashed leg dulls and heavy. I can't move it. I don't think it belongs to me anymore. I can't twitch my toes on my right foot. I can't twitch the toes on my left foot either. Which is get burned at the stake, right? But, but why? I haven't been through any. Haven't I been through enough? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. It'll be over soon. I know how just how weak and fragile you. How fragile. How easily broken. Her voice dips in slow, censors whisper. But I wouldn't be fun if you passed out too quickly. What? You did something wrong, sweetie. Even if you don't remember it, we do. Look at all the people you've disappointed. All the people you've let down. She glances at the shadowy crowd, and they stare at me, unblinking, their eyes, their eyelids permanently open. Maybe they can't blink. Do they even have eyelids? All of a sudden, this idea sounds rather sensible. Why should people need eyelids? They exist solely to judge me. Of course, they would, of course they would stare. Excuse me, I'll just call for my lovely assistant. Woman who looks like Vaughn claps her hands together. When she does, the girl steps forward from the crowd. It's me, Lynn with an E. She isn't a tall girl. Her presence is entirely average and unimposing. She's the popular. Op she's polar opposite to me. The woman reminds me of 
move on. Okay, I'm sorry to end it on a cliffhanger there. However, uh, the video is going quite long. Um, but I think that there's going to be one or two more videos of this. Uh, we're nearing close to the end from what I see from the stress level. Because I'm taking the idea that the stress level is the last, uh, like the, the percentage of how much I've cleared the game. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Hylene Jane. Please like, share, and subscribe my to my channel. Uh, this game has been really hard for me to get through just because I feel so awkward reading all the material. Especially this episode is one of my hardest. Uh, but thank you guys again, and I will see you all in the next video.